Magic Bullets are amazing. It is by far my most favorite overclock for the Bulldog Heavy Revolver. It amazes me that all you have to do is equip this overclock and just start firing away. What Magic Bullets does is make the bullets ricochet into nearby bugs, either from hitting the ground or nearby bug. Of course, the bullets do have a limit of how far they can travel, which is from 5 meters. But with the right gear mods, you can have yourself a perfect crowd clearing gun. You'll see. Also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Oh shit. <laughs> fuck. No, oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Alright. I was busy grabbing something. <laughs> Sorry about that. Thought I had enough time. But the mission started really fast. I'm really excited for this one guy in my comments. He said he was gonna be making a Steve mod that shows the health as like as like Bosco would on the side there. I think that's what he was describing it as. And it would also show you the proper cooldown time for when you can actually grab a new Steve. So hell yeah, dude. So excited for that. Cannot wait. I'm really hoping they fixed... Like, I know I have Lloyd on right now, but I really hope they did fix Bosco with his... with his missile problem. Because for a while there, if you if he had like terrain in front of the target you marked, he just would stare at the wall and wouldn't do anything. So that was cool. <laughs> and I even put it in as a short on my YouTube channel where Bosco was just sitting there not doing anything. Steve! My body is really sore because last night we had to do a lot of extra cleaning because our district manager is coming in. And the night prior to doing this, we we cleaned. Oh, meteor! Ye. We were just cleaning behind the uh, the oven, and oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. And so we started cleaning it, and we were going up the wall, and then suddenly uh, we started cleaning the roof, and I was just like, "Well, shit! We can't just leave that. <laughs> leave it like that." And so then we just decided to clean the three tiles next to the oven. And then we were like, that just looks so bad. So then last night we decided to order McDonald's. Like all, all like me and my coworkers decided to order McDonald's and we cleaned like half of the roof. And it looks so good in quotations let's just say good in quotations because the bars holding up the tiles just look so bad and also one of my co-workers decided to throw some chips up inside the roof and i got a picture of that too oh my god that was so funny magic bullets go <laughs> Stop bullying Steve. Stop that. Stop this nonsense. Now, ah, fuck off. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, a goober. N no. I wish you could shoot at the glob to make it explode midair. That'd be pretty cool. Oh! Uh, where's that goober? Nope. Die, go goober, die. Yeah. <laughs> None of that. None of that, Maxera. None of that. <laughs> Did my Steve die? No! Steve is about to, though. No, not my Steve. No, please. Oh, oh shit. Back up, bitches. The suppressor needs to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Die! <laughs> you know, I am actually kind of glad that they changed the Neurotoxin payload to be a little bit of a single target rather than full AoE. Because now I can just do high heavy damage to the Praetorians and Oppressors. 
And also poison the crowds. <laughs> don't you know I'm still standing. Hey, don't forget that. I'm trying to remember something, but I, I just I just forgot. I had a story in my head. It was like this one time in elementary school where oh wait, oh my god, are we rich? I forgot my backpack, I think. I think it was my backpack or it was it was just something. But I just remember I broke back into my school to get this because it was like it was summer vacation and you know this, th there's gonna be staff there a little bit for summer school kids and such so what ha what ended up happening was because i forgot this oh it was my scooter okay i remember now it was my scooter all right so i actually left my scooter over summer vacation and you know whatever i had a bike so i didn't really care that much I was just like, man, I, I really wanted to have my scooter because, you know, my dad's my dad thought I I like I like forgot it somewhere and he had to buy me a new one. So I I broke back into my school. So what happened was during roll call roll call, I guess this is what they did during summer school was they had the kids out on the, the playground and they did roll call. And while they did roll call, the doors were unlocked. So that way they could go back in after roll call. What I did was, as the smooth brain I am, I just went up to the doors and I opened them and went inside. And so I was in and there was like no security guards whatsoever or anything. I think there was like maybe one on campus, but that was about it. So I broke in and I just, I, I, I'm just like wandering the halls and it felt so surreal. It's like so weird being in a place that you would normally have like a lot of people there, but there's just no one. It was such a surreal feeling. Anyways, so I get to my classroom. The door is locked, but my scooter wasn't in there. The cubbies are out on the outside of the classroom. And my I think I believe I or at least I thought I left my scooter in the cubby. And for some reason it was gone. And I was like, oh shit, where is my scooter? I remembered there was only two possible places it could be. It was either in the main principal office, which that would suck because, you know, there's going to be a lot of people in there. Or it was in the the safety room principal office, which was this like hidden door closed off area in the cafeteria. And I decided to look there because I know for a fact that no one ever goes in there besides the principal every now and then. And there's also security cameras in there, too. So... I went, I went to that door, I opened it, and no one was inside, thank god, but my scooter was in there. I got my scooter, but for some, like, on the cameras, like, it felt like this was, like, how FNAF is now. On the security cameras, I saw someone heading towards the door, I was like, oh shit. So, the only place I could hide in this, this room was this trash bin that had a bunch of soccer balls in it. So I like quickly dumped out the soccer balls and lined them against the wall and I hid in the trash bin, like like secret agent style. And so then the guy, uh, I don't know, I don't remember who, I think it was a security guard. He came in because I think he's, I think I actually left the door open a bit. And the guy came in and he was like, he was just looking around. He was just like, hmm, there's no, there's no, there's no one in here. Hmm whatever and i don't think he noticed the soccer balls on the ground but at the same time i do feel like he did because he was just like why why are the soccer balls on the floor whatever and so then he left the the security room and i i like booked it i like got out of the trash bin and i just ran oh my god there's a herald i didn't care if there was a security guard there or anything so i ran out onto the playground Holy shit, there's a lot of stuff happening. I think I just heard a detonator. Pause story time for a bit, because holy crap, there's a lot of shit happening. <laughs> Alright, anyways. So yeah, I just booked it out of there. And I got outside and I just ran. I ran the opposite direction. And next summer, when I came back, they were on, uh, I think, high alert. Because they announced that someone had broken over summer break. 
And all I could think about was, please don't save me, please don't save me, please don't save me. Because I know, Owie, I know for a fact that they have security footage of some kid wandering through the halls. But I wasn't being in inconspicuous, I wasn't wearing like a mask or anything. So they could obviously tell it was me, and they, they didn't say who it was. And they were just like, just don't ever do it again. We are on high alert all day, every day. Our security guards work so hard. And I'm like, oh yeah, if they worked that hard, they would have fucking caught me. <laughs> so I got away with the crime of getting my scooter back, even though I could have just gotten it back after summer break. <laughs> That's the time I broke back into my school for a fucking scooter. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't just wait after summer break. I think it was just like my my kid brain being like, oh no, they're gonna throw away my scooter, or someone's gonna you know take it for themselves, or or something like this or that. Yeah, so that that was that was my my smooth brain going on there. Quarantine me in the piss bar. Quarantine me in the piss bar. <laughs> I was gonna say that. I'm, that's definitely death. Okay, I gotta. Oh, uh, Jesus, so much Rockbox. Oh, God, okay, I'm out of revives. Oh, shit. I am not being careful at all. I need to start being careful. Oh, God. Don't let him get too far away. Oh god. Holy shit. Time to run away. Last one off. Die! Son of a bitch. Die! God damn! All right. Ugh. I lost all my revives. Okay, I still have one more resupply. Har and Deal have their hands full tonight. God damn, dude! I lost all my revives. I gotta be so careful going back. Let's get the hell out of here before a swarm starts. Oh jeez. Molly, I'm gonna follow you. <laughs> I should have gotten another resupply. Shit. Well, no, I I'm full. Yeah, I, I'm on. I'm full on everything. All right, Molly. Okay, I was like, where the hell is Molly going? Nope. Magic bullets go. <laughs> go, magic bullets go. <laughs> I may have lost all my revives, but hey, man, whatever. <laughs> nice. It's so much fun just not not caring where you're going to aim and they all just die. <laughs> nice. My final score was nice.